Hi everyone, it's Tech Dad. Today, a quick video. I just want to show you which cables I'm using with my Quest to play Oculus Link games or Rift games on the PC. Why I didn't bought an official Link cable from Oculus? Because in Canada, it's $110. I mean, it's too much money for me to justify for only a cable when there is already solution out there that will give you almost the same performances. And the truth, you don't need the link cable to have better visual. If you buy a simple cable from Amazon, and I will show you in two minutes, you will get exactly the same visual. However, there are some disadvantages that will, I will talk about and some advantages also. So I will start by showing you the cables that I am using. The first one, I need two cables for my setup. So the first cable that I'm using is the anchor cable. This is the Powerline cable by Anchor that was officially recommended by Oculus at launch of the beta. So I have the six, six feet version. They also sell a 10 feet version, but for me having only 10 feet from the headset to my PC was not acceptable. And it's the case for most people. So I've decided to buy it a little bit shorter so I've decided to add another cable, which is an active extension 3.0 extension by Cable Creation. This cable is, I think, about 16 feet. So my whole setup is 16 feet plus 6 feet, about 22 feet. The bolt cable cost me $30 Canadian, 10 for the anchor cable, almost 20 for the extension cable. I get the same visual as anyone who is buying the full official cable from Oculus. However, there is some disadvantages and I will go through them. The Oculus Link cable is made with fiber optic. Here we have copper line. What is the difference? It's the fact that you can have a longer cable, but with an active extension here, we don't have that problem. Oculus Link cable has way faster data speed than this solution. I think almost 10 times faster. But right now, the Oculus Link software with the Quest is not limited by the cable you are using. If the cable are 3.0 and they are compatible with the computer and the Quest, you are having the best visual that you can get right now at least. I don't know if if in the future they will be able to, to push the visual quality to higher standard if you are using the official link cable. However, from our understanding, the limitations are in the quest itself. So we will see in the future, but right now you can use cheat cables. If they work, you'll get the same visual. One of the biggest advantages of using fiber optic is the fact that the cable itself is very flexible. Here, my extension cable is big and it's not flexible at all. And when it's on the ground, it's, you, you feel the drag of the weight of the cable when moving. So this is something for comfort that, yes, it's better on the Oculus Link cable. However, in my setup, I have a solution for this. So what I personally do, is I attach this part here of the cable to my hips, so to my pants or to my shirts here. So when it's attached to me, now it's my hips that are sustaining the, the weight of the cable and not my head anymore. So this makes a world of difference. Trust me, you don't feel it anymore because I mean, my hips don't feel this little weight here and I don't feel any weight. There's no weight right now. Here I have a long cable. I bought the six feet cable. Maybe I should have bought the three feet, but I almost don't feel that. It's in my back. And here, as you can see, all the weight is attached to my hips. I will say the biggest advantages of the official link is the fact that it will charge your Oculus Quest while playing, which is unfortunately not the case with my solution. 
if I play for example an hour, my battery will maybe uh, get to 90, 91%. But I can still play maybe 10 hours or 8 to 10 hours of that game. So that's not a problem for me. But if you want to keep it charged, or if you forgot to, to charge your quest and then you want to play a PC game, with the link, you, you can play, it will charge it. However, to do so, you need to have a USB-C on your computer. If you use an adapter to convert from USB 3.0 or 3.1 to USB-C for the cable to work, then unfortunately it won't charge your Quest fully while playing. Personally, I've built my computer in 2014. I've changed the GPU since, but I do not have any USB-C input on it. But now I won't tell you what to buy, it's your money. And if you live in the US, it's a bit cheaper for you. And if your computer is newer, then you will be able to charge this and then it might be worth it for you. For me, it was not, but that doesn't mean it's not worth it for you. <laughs> so thank you all, it was Tech Dad. see you next time. Ciao.